Hello, people of YouTube. Today's video is again about the DJI Rise Tello. I've just been over at a friend's house all day. We've been barbecuing and they've never flown a drone. So I brought the little Tello with me and I'm gonna see how they do flying it. So stay tuned. Oh, excuse me, a little too much steak. Make sure to click like, subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of content. Today, I just really wanted to see how these guys do flying a drone in their house for the first time ever. at my buddy Todd's house who's over there. Yeah. Hello. With the DJI Rise Tello. And I guess we're gonna let, who wants to fly it first? I wanna try to fly that thing. It comes with one battery, and the battery lasts about 10 to 13 minutes, and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to charge, so we're probably gonna just let everybody just try a minute or two, and we'll see how that goes. So we're gonna let like, Skylar go first. This is Skylar, and she has her own YouTube channel, which I'll link there. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the power on on the drone itself with the little button on the side. You just sort of tap it and you'll see a light right there, Skylar. Can you see it? It's blinking. And then you go into your settings on the phone. Look under Wi-Fi. We find the one that says Tello. Connect that. Connect it. And then we're going to go into our drones folder. We're going to open the Tello app. Up at the top left here. It just shows you. Yeah, it shows you, you can see what it sees. And at the top left, there's the takeoff, see? So that's, and you slide the takeoff. But before we do that, there's two spots on here that are like your joysticks, right? So when you slide this forward, it makes the drone lean and go forward. When you go to the right, it makes it lean and go to the right. Same with the left and the back. So this side here. Goes up, down, spin around. Up, backwards. down, spin around that way, that way. That's yeah. called yaw. Take in both hands, push the little button. Which button? This one? Top left. No, nope, top left, yep. Slide to take off. Will it just hover or will it go yeah. up and fall? No, it'll hover. It'll go up and hover. Mm. So use this one and turn it to the right. Other way. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down now. You wanna try a flip? How do I do it? To do a flip, there's a second button there. Push that one, tap it, okay? Flips, you tap that, say start. Start. Now very carefully, don't go angle, okay? Either go straight up or straight left, okay? Just swipe. <laughs> What do you think this of this thing's song? pretty cool. Yeah, I want to fly it around the house. Like, I need one of these things. It's coming back over here. Uh -oh. Bring it down. Go straight. Oh, I don't know. Okay, stop there. Do you want to land it in your hand or do you want to land it on the ground? On the ground. Tap this. And then find the one that says land. And it's landing. No, 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 no. I got her in the nose. I thought that was really fun to control. Yeah. It was really yeah, no, easy. Yeah. And I think anybody yeah. could do it. Anybody could do it? Yes. How old are you? Nine. I mean, ten. She just turned ten. Even a ten year old can do it. Todd's turn, huh? How much battery have you got? Under 50% battery. You can't do flips or anything. So we really wanted to get it to uh, launch again while Todd still had battery to do flips. We got I'm not good with like video games, none of this stuff, so this is all. So basically, this controller here is your Circle. up, down, and your yaw, which is where Spin. it spins. Yep, yep. So if you want to go forward, backwards, okay. and right, so that so makes it like simple. this. pretty simple. Keep in mind, that wherever the front of it is, is the way it's gonna go. Always go. Yeah, how do I know which way is the front? Uh, you'll see the camera wherever it's pointed. Oh, it does. Or you'll yeah. see that little light on the front. Okay. So to take off, 
you hit this and you say slide to take off. That's it? That's it. And just, and how far will it go before uh, it? It's gonna go just a couple feet. Well, okay. I wanna try to turn it a little so it... Just, just put your finger on it and hold it. And slide it. Slide it the way you wanna turn it. Oh, there you go. You don't wanna be too rapid with it. Keep, it keep both fingers on the screen the whole time. I love how it just hoppers perfectly. I spin it. Oh boy. What do I gotta do to flip? I got a chance to flip. <laughs> I went too low a battery. Oh, you Flip got failed. one in at least. Oh, I got one good one. So that's part of the problem is at 50% it will not let you flip or do any of the extra modes. That's the only real downside I've seen to this. And I wish that it came with two batteries and a way to power them outside. You know, you can always buy extra batteries and I'm sure someone's gonna make an external charger that will solve all those problems. I need one of these. Oh, oh, boy. oh come down, go down, go down, go down! Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> I just got cocky and I was thought I was good. Did you see that? I cleaned all the cobwebs off the wall. All right, our first wreck. It's my butt. I'm at first time flying a drone. I think you did pretty good. What'd you think, Todd? It was awesome. I need a little more practice, a little more time. I still gotta get used to which way is forward, because I, I don't know. There's a lot. I've never flown a drone. percent battery. Uh, anybody else want to fly? Oh, And you can buy that for a hundred bucks. That's a lot of fun for a hundred bucks. And you can pick it up at DroneWorks.com. <laughs> nice. So Todd here has never flown a drone ever in his life, right? Never. It was pretty easy to do. Yeah. Right? So this would be a good baby step for you, you think, to to maybe get into the hobby as a before you went and bought a thousand dollar drone. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I just have this for fun. I mean, obviously in the house we can yeah. fly it around. Yeah, he's got a very out. tall ceilings here, so it's a perfect environment for the indoor flying. This would be fun. I'd like to, obviously the more time, you know, yeah. just like anything, but I was a little, I felt a little awkward at but first. If you ever want to borrow yeah. it, you let me know. You're uh, I'd borrow. appreciate <laughs> that, but this thing is fun for a hundred bucks. Yeah. I would definitely buy one. I totally forgot to, to film a closer, so. I'm gonna try to wrap this up for you guys. This is a blast. Everyone enjoyed it immensely. And if you've never flown a drone, I'd highly recommend something like this as your first attempt at flying a drone. If you have flown plenty of drones in the past, whether you have a Mavic Pro, Mavic Air, or some completely other brand of drone and you're just looking for something fun to fly at the house, with friends who really have no concept of how drones work, maybe they're scared of them. They think they're peeping in the shower, which they're not. This is a great little, fun, well-built, durable little guy for 99 bucks. I recommend going to DroneWorks.com and picking one of these up if you're in the market for one. They've been doing pretty good by me ever since my whole DJI incident with the first air I have. If you've been here for a little while, you might be wondering what all this stuff is. Well, I did get a new air. I'm gonna be testing it and comparing it to my Mavic Pro. I have a incredibly badass new bag that I just got that I'm gonna be doing some reviews on. It goes with the Mavic Pro and works with a Mavic Pro 2, if I'm not mistaken, if the thing's even real. We have some LED propellers and landing pads I'll be messing with, and of course, the Lego drone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it, click thumbs up, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you guys picked one of these up yourselves, and if your family's enjoying it as much as my family and friends are. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.